Hey guys, welcome back here to another video tutorial. Uh, in today's video tutorial, I will introduce a way how to generate multiple textiles uh, in Figma and give them also an override. Uh, we at Kobe recently switched from Sketch to Figma and therefore I was looking for a way, a practical, uh, similar way to do this uh, right in Figma. Uh, in Sketch we used to do this uh, with uh, Styles Generator plugin and now let's have a look how we do this in Figma. Okay. I will introduce it to you. I use therefore two plugins. You have to install this. I would recommend the first one is the Textiles Generator plugin. You found it here on Figma plugins. Then just click install. And the second one, which allows you to override uh, multiple styles by just one click, is the Batch Styler plugin. Okay, then uh, let's have a look how this works. Uh, I go here to my style page, for example, my typography styles here, which all the styles I have, H1 to button text. And normally in Figma, uh, you have to give uh, each style uh, a text style by generating it separately by just select the style then go to this one uh, and click the plus and then uh, give the style uh, your name for example h1 then create style and then you have your style now you have to do this for each style uh, separately this is not so ha so handy and fast i think and therefore i use this plug in uh, textiles generator plugin. Um, I show it to you now. Uh, first, I delete the style. Then, what does the styles generator plug in uh, the textiles generator plugin do? It generates all your styles uh, you have uh, created, uh, and it's creates the styles depending on the layer name on the left. You see here, I have the style here, H1 semi-bold. And what I would recommend to do is to give the weight information of your style directly here in the naming. Uh, because uh, if you generate one style, for example, here, I show it to you, um, uh, just H1, then create the style and then I will type uh, the style and here it's, uh, click H1. I got no information about weights etc. This is one thing in Figma I don't like so much here because uh, if I want to have the information I have to go here to uh, edit style and here I see okay it's the semi bold 56 uh, pixel and the line height of uh, 64 uh, pixels. So therefore I delete this here. Therefore, I would recommend to give all the information here of uh, the font type and the, the size and the line height directly here into the, uh, the naming. Um, what I said before, uh, important is here that the naming convention is also here written in, in the layer, layer name. Um, one uh, one quick tip: if you have uh, uh, if you have here just uh, H1 now standing here, uh, and I will do this uh, by the plugin. Uh, it will generate uh, the style to to the layer name here. Uh, what you have to do now is just uh, delete this here, then press Enter, and you get the the right uh, naming here like you did, you did it here. Just select all of your styles and go to the search and I think uh, normally it's the uh, command backslash uh, slash, um, shortcut. Uh, for German keyboard it's the command comma sheet. On German keyboards it's the command comma uh, shortcut then you go to search then you uh, search text, text styles generator then I go here text styles and you see here 18 styles were generated. You can see it here on my inspector, every style was generated. This is a very fast and quick way and yeah, I love this uh, this way. One uh, thing the plugin also does, you can show all the styles by um, 
going to textiles and you have here the draw current textiles if I click this here you see every style here is also generated this is uh, very useful if you don't have such an overview here um, yeah this is fine um, now uh, I will uh, show you the way how to overwrite these styles then select all these styles then I go here to I show it here to you in the plugins uh, plugins then go to batch styler then um, just uh, you see uh, 90 styles were generated just select all these styles by pressing command A uh, and here you have the opinion to change the font family in my case uh, I will use then Roboto and use Roboto Slab for example to have a more different view and here's one great thing also you get a notification about uh, uh, what is happening here uh, you get the warning ah this uh, style is not uh, is not existing with Roboto then I click here and then I say okay Sami Bolt is not existing uh, the weight is not existing uh, in uh, Roboto. Then I go from semi bold to bold, and from medium here, for example, to uh, regular, and I say save, and then go update styles. And you see here, click close this here, and you see here every style was updated from. Uh, the one font to the other font. Yeah, this is a really uh, good way uh, which uh, helps you to speed up your workflow, I think. And yeah, this was the tutorial. Hope you found it uh, useful. Then see you in the next video. Bye bye, your John.